When you think of country music, what time do you think of? Maybe Hank Williams and the genre's origin in the 1950s. Or possibly outlaw country of the 70s. What about the commercial heyday of country music with Garth Brooks in the 1990s? Whatever time period your mind jumped to, most likely it wasn't the 1980s, which is a crying shame because the 80s boasted some of the best country artists and songs of all time. Now largely forgotten next to bigger stars from different eras, but 80s country definitely is worthy of a second look. So let's do it, yeehaw! I'm Nostalgic Nick for Do You Remember? And today we're taking a deep dive into some 1980s country songs you may have forgotten were so awesome. If you dig our playlist, please be sure to hit that thumbs up for us and subscribe to our channel for more. But for now, let's pull on our boots and 10 gallon hats and honky tonk through this list. All My Exes Live in Texas, George Strait. All my exes live in Texas. Running into an ex is most people's idea of hell. Even if a breakup was cordial, there's bound to be lingering feelings buried deep down that come bubbling unwanted to the surface. The only solution? Flee across state lines, of course. At least that was George Strait's get out of ex hell card in his 1987 hit. Over the course of the song, Strait explains why he currently hangs his hat in Tennessee. And if you had exes like him, you might hightail it out of the Lone Star State too. Among the highlights, Dimples has the law looking for him, Allison has just gone completely insane, and Eileen down in Abilene, well she forgot that Strait hung the moon. Setting aside for a moment that the common denominator in all these failed relationships is Strait himself. Well I'm very grateful for that because I know that they've got other things that they could be doing <laughs> instead of that. With all these exes prowling around, it's no wonder Strait lit out for Dodge. But with its lilting country swing style and amusing tales of love gone wrong, All My Exes Live in Texas is a tune that should never be forgotten. I was country when country wasn't cool, Barbara Mandrell. Cause I was country when country wasn't cool. You know those people who jump on fads at the last second to try and seem cool. They don't really care what they do or wear, as long as they fit in with the it crowd. And in the early 80s, country music was becoming a fad, gaining in popularity faster than ever thanks to the movie Urban Cowboy. Real cowboy? Well, it depends on what you think a real cowboy is. And a new style of country disco pop called Neo Country. Many established country stars resented these bandwagon fans. And thus, I was country when country wasn't cool. Barbara Mandrell's classic 1981 hit was born. In the song, Mandrell states that her love of country music is part of a long and authentic tradition. That she was listening to the Opry when all her friends were digging rock and roll and rhythm and blues. And despite the irony of the song soaring to number one on the backs of the same newly minted country fans Mandrell was lambasting, this single is one of the best country songs of the 1980s. Forever and Ever Amen, Randy Travis. With a title like Forever and Ever Amen, you may expect Travis's 1987 hit to be a smaltzy saccharine mess, but in fact when you delve into its lyrics, you find a tender timeless love song that rises above most sappy country ballads to convey thoughtful true feelings. The single grew from songwriter Don Slitz's son, stating after his nightly prayers, Mommy, I love you forever and ever, amen, which in itself is super adorable. The writers then took this sweet sentiment and made it into a moving love song. Travis sings about how he's not afraid of his lover growing old because it's her personality he's in love with, not her looks. And in this day and age when superficiality reigns supreme, that idea alone is really refreshing. Despite the admitted cheesiness of the song's title, that does get repeated just a little too much, Forever and Ever Amen is certainly one of the most heartfelt country songs of the 19th. 1980s. Islands in the Stream, Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers. Islands in the Stream, that is what we are. No one is me, Kenny. 
quick, name a Dolly Parton song. Odds are you said nine to five or Jolene. Which both are fantastic songs. But don't sleep on her 1983 duet with Kenny Rogers, because this tune is an absolute banger. Originally written by the Bee Gees for Marvin Gaye. Sidestep, let's imagine what that finished product would have sounded like. But the disco legends ultimately decided it wasn't right for the Prince of Soul and reworked the song with the country flair. And the songwriting mastery of Barry Gibb once again succeeded as Parton and Rogers croon what is a perfect pop country song. A simple tune about overcoming life's struggles together. Islands in the Stream is outrageously catchy, as one would expect from the writer of Night Fever. And although it is still played today, the song isn't often mentioned among the top tier of Parton or Rogers' hits, which of course is exactly where it belongs. And for more Rogers tunes, we have a great tribute to The Gambler for you to check out next. Always on my mind, Willie Nelson. But you were always on my mind. The stereotype about country music is that every song is about flags, trucks, cheating exes, or an ice cold beer. Basically redneck themes with no nuance or real feeling. Hey, go easy on that. For what I'm getting ready to do, I don't want to remember a lot of it. And like almost all stereotypes, this one is demonstrably false. Just take a listen to Willie Nelson's 1982 single, Always On My Mind, and try and tell me that country music can't contain deep emotions, because this beautiful love ballad moves you in ways few pieces of pop music can. The song was originally written in 1971 and has been recorded by artists as varied as Elvis and the Pet Shop Boys, but it is certainly Nelson's stripped down version that packs the most emotional punch with haunting piano and plaintive vocals. Nelson mourns his behavior in a past relationship. Although he was always thinking of his partner, he never showed or expressed his love, and so they quite rightly left him. He realizes his mistake now, but knows it's just too late. So the next time you're going through a breakup or just need a good cry, turn back the clock to 82, because Always On My Mind certainly packs an emotional wallop. The Dukes of Hazard theme, Good Old Boys, Waylon Jennings. Just a good old boy, never meaning no harm. Everyone remembers the Dukes of Hazzard, one of the 80s most popular TV shows. Dukes is famous for Boss Hogg, the General Lee, and for inventing one of the most fabulous of fashion trends, Daisy Dukes. But what people might not recall is that the show's theme song was actually one of the 80s most awesome country songs, written by legend Waylon Jennings, who also narrated the show. The theme, appropriately titled Theme from the Dukes of Hazzard, tells the tale of two rebellious brothers, running moonshine and spitting in the eye of the law. And it's everything a fun, upbeat country song should be. Been in trouble with the law since the day they were born. Awesome. Making their way the only way they know how. That's just a little more than the law will allow. Yep, tick several boxes on the country music check sheet right there. Every song doesn't have to have a deeper meaning. And one major motif in country is that everyone has the right to just have fun. Which is what this song is. A good old time. And to keep the good times rolling, check out our cast then and now video to revisit Hazard County's residents. He stopped loving her today, George Jones. Kept hoping she'd come back again. When George Jones first heard the song, He Stopped Loving Her Today, he reportedly thought it was too sad, too depressing, and that nobody would ever play it. However, at the time, Jones was, quote, homeless, deranged, and destitute, living in his car and barely able to digest the junk food on which he subsisted, according to one article, and didn't have much of a choice when it came to the material. And he ended up being two thirds right. The song is indeed both very sad and depressing, but in fact, everyone played it. 
and the single shot to number one in 1980. In the song, Jones sings about a man that has never given up on a past love. He keeps old letters and photos in the hopes of rekindling the romance. And the song reaches its climax when the woman returns and Jones reveals that the man finally has stopped loving her because he has died. Very dark stuff for a pop song. Despite its initial misgivings, the song helped Jones revitalize a career that hadn't had a hit in years and resonated deeply with country music listeners. And there you have them, some of the greatest 80s country songs that people often forget. So tell us, which of these songs is your personal favorite? What other often forgotten 80s country hit did we forget? Let us know in the comments below. We read every one. And if you don't mind, please hit that thumbs up for us and subscribe to our channel. That way you'll never forget anything ever again. As always, from all of us here at Do You Remember, thank you for watching.